Yummy. What's up everybody and welcome. It's actually a sad day. I'm emptying Oscar out here. Let me show you why. Yesterday when I was driving, somebody ran a red light, hit another car, and then ran into me. Used Oscar to stop himself. Everybody was fine, everything's good, but Oscar is not tracking right. But we're lucky because we have multiple tow rigs and all sorts of other uh, vehicles here at the dealership. So we're gonna take Brutus here. The big F-250. This is uh, one of the best Fords they've ever made. Not efficient like Oscar, but we'll do the job. So while Oscar's in the shop, we're gonna take Brutus here. So let's just cut right to me and Brutus getting to our first job. All right, so we made it out to our first job here without uh, getting run into by anybody. And we got clear skies, so we're not fighting rain today. Hey, yeah, that's a 251. That's actually not our boat. Our boat is right here. That's the 378 Pursuit. We only got one problem on this boat. We're gonna go check out, see if we can fix it, or if we might need some parts. It's just the uh, rear seat it moves back and forth on a track, something new that they've designed. It's not working. So let me jump on and we'll find out what happened. All right, this is a little interesting, just because this is a new system. What I'm dealing with is actually brand new. I've never seen it before. I've seen some components like it, but uh, let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what I found. All right, so after a little bit of digging here, in here, we have a control box for the seat that I'm leaning on behind me. Let me show you actually episode 37. I tour this boat, we do a run through, but I show you the seat. Let me just show you what it does, and I'll show you what I found. All right, check this out. This is a brand new feature on these boats, pretty cool. There's a button right here. You push open. And look at that. This whole thing moves. So the seat you see, there's the switch for it right there. Our control box in here. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you how it actually works. All right, so here's the seat. I took the floor out right here, which has just got these quick releases. Here's one of the sensors, the sensor right here. It's just magnetic, so when it hits a certain point, it turns the box off and stops. There's also two sensors. If you look back here, you can see it. And there's a magnet right inside here on each side. That stops it also when it hits this point. All right, so we come over here. Here's our battery switch panel, which I have down. I had to move our air conditioning for the back out of the way. And we have our make fast awning right here. That's the controller for the top. And then here is one for that seat. So this box looks very similar to this box next to it. The only difference is it looks like it has a 24 volt inverter. So this is how it works. You have five volts that go into it from the switch. When you push the switch, it sends five volts to our board here. In turn, pushes 24 volts out to our motor so that it can go forward or backwards. Now, when I'm pushing the switch, I'm getting the reference I have good voltage to it, nothing's moving. So if you look down here, which I do not recommend because you could hurt somebody, I have unplugged all of the sensors so this thing will move freely and disconnected the switch and it still will not move. All right, so at this point, I can't actually go any further. I've done all my testing, what I know to do. I got a call to make fast. The people that designed this and helped engineer it with Pursuit, they're gonna call me back tomorrow so we can find out if there's anything I'm missing. But my best guess here is that box is bad. That being said, I gotta put all this back together. I'm gonna pull the fuse so nobody can mess with it. And we're gonna head out to a Regal that won't start. I'll see you there. All right, so we're headed back to the island where that Regal is at that won't start. And I forgot, Brutus here is uh, completely tuned. Probably making as much horsepower as this motor is gonna make for a diesel. And she whistles pretty good, makes a lot of noise. Listen to this. Sounds like a fair ride starting up. Anyway, we're almost to our Regal, so I'll see you there. All right, so I just got to our Regal here. I got it opened up and I noticed one thing right away. I went to turn my batteries on and this happens. It doesn't feel right on the inside. So before I diagnose the no start situation, we're gonna have to fix our battery switch just to make sure we got good clean power to the motor. 
and then we can check and see if the starter's bad or maybe it's got a bad relay, whatever the case may be. Luckily, I'm right down the road from the shop. We're on the island here, so I'm gonna run out, grab some parts, change that switch out, and we'll continue right after I do that. All right, so we got our new switch in. Now check this out. That's the old one. When I took it off the wall, it just fell apart. All right, so now I know I have good power because we got a new switch in. I've checked it to the starter. We have good bolts to it, cable looks good. Now when I crank it, watch what happens. All you can hear is the starter plunger trying to activate. My guess is the starter is bad, but I'm not gonna be able to know that until tomorrow. Because it's the end of the day. Unfortunately, I lost some time with having to load everything in Brutus, going over the police report and all that crap from yesterday. That being said, I'm gonna pack this one up. We'll continue here in the morning and uh, diagnose starter. And I'll see you tomorrow. Brutus, what is this? That's better. 